Hey guys, I just wanted to show you how we set up uh, video and lighting looks inside a QLab um, that's also synced up with our backing tracks that are being played inside of main stage um, in the background here. Okay, so starting off, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go to our video, where you are, the song where you are, and just drop that in there, and then we're going to grab our lighting look. Um, this is all our lights programmed, you know, for verse, chorus, bridge, the ending, everything is right here. And uh, we drag that out as well. Let's just minimize those. And then we're going to group these together. We'll just click this button. And just label this where you are. Okay. And then we're going to go... Uh, make sure our folder is selected. Go to Mode, Start Children Simultaneously. So what that's going to do is it'll play, once you cue this folder, it'll play both of these files at the same time. So it won't play this video first and then move on to this cue. It'll play these both at the same time. Okay. So um, for our lighting, we're going to go to Settings and make sure that it's set to the IAC driver, bus one or whatever IAC driver you have, bus one, bus two, whatever. And we're gonna go over to our audio MIDI setup and go to our IAC driver. And if you don't have an IAC driver already set up, this is what you do, you just go to uh, the little plus here, hit the plus and just make sure this is checked for devices online and you'll have a virtual MIDI port um, that you can access through any of your software. And how we get to that is go into the search tab here, go audio MIDI setup, and just click on this uh, application or type it in and just hit enter. And it'll open this up. And if this window isn't up automatically, you just go to window and show MIDI studio, and then you'll get to this window right here. Um, the next thing we need to do is go to network. Make sure a session is enabled. We just uh, hit the little plus here, and it'll make this right here. And we just named it MIDI Lighting Test. Uh, and then we have the Bonjour name to be Stage Mac because it's on stage. And then um, what we what we do is we go to our other computer that is on the front of house. It's actually a PC, and it's running a piece of uh, free software called RTP MIDI. And it's pretty much a mirror of this um, MIDI network setup. And uh, it is on a PC, which is cool. So what we do is just hit uh, select this. Once you have a session enabled on the PC, it'll show up here. And then you just hit connect, and it'll be right there. And then we need to go down here to our live routings and hit IAC driver bus 1. And then it'll route to the PC. Okay, after we've gotten the network and the two computers talking to each other over Wi-Fi, um, let's go move on to the video. On video, we want to go to Display and Geometry and make sure it's on our Surface 1 that has our display and our Siphon outputs. Um, if these outputs aren't showing up, just go into here, the little plus, click on display, hit it there, you know, pop up there, and then same thing for the siphon output. What a siphon output is, is it's actually sending this video right here out into another so piece of software, and that's in Mad Mapper right here, and that's what's being routed to our LED pixel tape. And uh, what we do is just go over here and make sure the under siphon, our QLab Surface 1 is enabled. And, and that way, whatever we have going on in QLab is going to show up right here in Mad Mapper. Okay. And I think the final thing that we got to do is um, just make sure that this is linked up with a MIDI note. Okay, so this is where we make the connection between um, QLab and MainStage. Uh, main stage is, uh, is running our backing tracks as you saw in a previous video. So what we need to do is go in to uh, hit our folder here, make sure it's on basics, go to MIDI where it says MIDI trigger right down here. 
We're going to make sure this button is checked. And then we're going to hit capture. Okay, so now what we have to do is just hit a button on our MIDI keyboard that is the same button that we hit inside of main stage for where you are the song. So uh, I'm just going to do that now. But before I do that, I need to go to um, where is the channel. I need to select the correct channel of my MIDI controller. Uh, we have different channels for different things um, because we're, we're sharing this machine with a, um, a piano player as well as running the video. So we just need to switch this to a channel that's not being used and that ended up being channel 3. Okay, as you can see, we have MIDI data now recorded. And it's note 44, and it says 82 velocity. Now here's the problem with uh, having 82 velocity here. If we hit that key again, it will not trigger this folder, not unless we've hit that exact velocity again. So what we need to do is just go into here, erase that, and then replace it with any, hit enter. So no matter how hard you hit um, the key on the keyboard, it's going to trigger that folder right there. So let's give it a test and just make sure it's all working. Okay, now it's triggering uh, the backing tracks. Let's test that, let's see. Yeah, it's triggering the backing tracks for the song as well as the video. So it is going over to Mad Mapper right now through our Siphon output that we have on the video. And it's also outputting to our external display um, that's going through a um, Thunderbolt to uh, HDMI uh, that's connected to our Blackmagic uh, switcher. That's pretty much how we set everything up. If you guys have any questions, uh, let me know. Oh, the last thing that we need to do is we'll just stop the queue for right now. We'll just drag this into the worship playlist and drag it in there. That way, um, when we're playing videos, we can have a fade cue for the whole worship playlist. That way, we're not having to have a fade cue for each uh, specific song. So let's say during the middle of a service, if uh, we got off track or um, the video is not synced up for whatever reason, we can just hit one button and it stops um, any video that we have inside of the playlist. And that is it.